cleaner winds, I got the turbine up 20 feet in the air. I got two 4x4s scabbed together with some guy wires and the turbine on top. So we'll wait on some wind and see what uh, sustained outputs we can get. So we've had a 10 to 15 mile an hour day and I was able to hit a charging amperage of eight and a half. So with the battery sitting at right around 13 volts, that comes to over 100 watts, which is completely awesome. I'm so stoked. Getting it in some good winds now, we'll take you out here. Now that it's up on the tower, 20 foot in the air, it catches the wind a lot better. Some of these winds seem to be average in, in the 4 to 5 amp range when the winds are steady at that 10 mile an hour range. So that's really nice. We get a windy night with some uh, winds up into the 20s, we should be able to hit 15 amps. From what I've read, as your wind speeds go up, your power doesn't go up at the same rate. It actually squares or something like that. So if you can produce 100 watts at 10 miles an hour, at 20 miles an hour, you should be able to produce like 400 watts instead of it doubling to 200. Another thing that I've noticed is the rectifier is a little warm to the touch now since it's actually had some current put through it. That is a first. Now, once I get some more money, I believe I am going to try and find one of the relay operated charge controllers with a small dump load uh, just to get started uh, in case we have a you know a full day of sun and then a windy day at the same time and then a windy night I don't want to overcharge the batteries because right now the wind turbines just ran directly into the three batteries that I have. Something else I've noticed with the turbine is uh, balance. That is seems like it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to have to uh, take everything down at some point and figure out how to balance it so it doesn't have a wobble in it. I would like to have, instead of the plywood hub, I would like to have a metal hub made that's balanced and then I'll have something exact to mount my blades to. But for testing, and only spending like $30 on this thing, I think it's pretty cool.